Welcome to High and Low, the game show that's not really a game show. I am your host, Kim McDonald, and today I have with me meteorologist Tyler Hamilton. This is how we do it. Three scenarios. Tyler will go over them and let us know what his confidence is, high or low. And Tyler, we're going to do something a little different this time around. You are going to do some role playing, and I'm going to give you the character. So character number one is the city of Winnipeg. And the statement is, Winnipeg has escaped a typical prairie winter. Now, so far, we have not seen a ton of precipitation. There's been barely any snow on the ground. I mean, could it possibly be that Winnipeg, which has the nickname Winter Peg, could possibly escape a typical prairie winter altogether? So there is the statement, and I need to know your confidence. And I'm sure a lot of people in Manitoba want to know your confidence on this one, too. Yeah, well, let's walk through what a historically warm winter it has been, Kim. Keep in mind, an average winter temperature in the city of Winnipeg is closer to minus 15. Early February, we had a mean temperature reported of minus 2.3 degrees Celsius. So Winnipeg has been consistently running a strong temperature fever with the exception of two weeks of winter weather nestled in the month of January. I think the only analog for this would be February 1998, Kim. And there's our 14 day trend for the city of Winnipeg. Okay, it's, it's trending upward as we see. So the statement, Winnipeg has escaped a typical winter. What's your confidence? Here we go, let's throw the meter. About as high as it could be in a weather scenario, Kim, a near certainty the next couple weeks for Winnipeg will be mild. Let's stick with that warm theme, shall we? Second winter, which comes after Fool's Spring. We're seeing some evidence of Fool's Spring in Hamilton. Yeah, a little bit of yard work, a little bit of disc golf. But can second winter make a serious visit to southern Ontario? Is it possible? So your second winter, what are you going to do? Well, how ominous am I going to be? Well, look at the latest computer models. Essentially, all you need to know on this one, Kim, the darker the red, the higher probability we are going to be looking at above normal temperatures from the period of February 22nd to the 29th. Okay, so your confidence that second winter will make a serious visit to southern Ontario? Uh, we don't even need to move the dial here, Kim. I have no confidence in that happening. I can't see it in any really real computer models, and that warming trend may extend into early March as well. Okay, doesn't mean you won't see any snow, but no serious winter revisits. Okay, this is a question that a lot of people want to know about too. So you're playing the role of cloud cover in Eastern Canada with the full solar eclipse less than two months away. What are the chances that you will present a problem for eclipse viewers? So Kim, let's focus on the date in Canada, April 8th. This is a shoulder season that still has an active Storm track at times, of course, we've had ice storms in the middle of April, and we only have a window of between two and four minutes along this path of totality. Let's run through the satellite imagery over the past century, and you're going to quickly recognize that it is very much a coin toss for cloud cover anywhere along this path of totality. This would be a worst case scenario. Take April 8th, 2001, look at most of Ontario, Quebec shrouded in fog, and it just so happens that a best case scenario would be last April, 2023, where most of the path was in sunshine. So your confidence that you will present a problem as cloud cover? This is going to be a problem for some.